So, we're going to have one more reader before we go into the first set of our feature. And I'd like you to all welcome Ken Smeaton. It's wonderful to be back, uh, at the Dan, and I bring salutations from the Moon Cafe in uh, Firth that Yark, Jax and Yalchi were over there as features at their festival. I just turned up because of work. Um, but um, all they um, remember the Dan, and the ones from the Moon Cafe that have been here consider this their inspiration. So, you've done a great job, gang. <laughs> The double helix, language to make death delay, the stuff of life unraveling like a sweatshop shirt, unlocking the realm of the infinite where the precious human ladder twists at the college where God teaches. Genomist and capitalist, Adam is a visionary with a wish list, the key to life in his hand. Genetic, synthetic, prophetic, able to provide all the answers but why we are alone. My direct channel flows to his console, entering where none had foretold, exercising remote control over life, understanding only more mysteries, internet sites for amateur Frankensteins, bloodlines traded like fine wines available to everyone who can afford a crisis. From science obscure, Maya rises over a new religion dawning. Humanity, a dividing amoeba splicing off from itself in the lust for survival. The DNA chart begins the new Bible. Science fiction is one of my favourite topics, but in this day and age it's becoming all too real. Uh, my, I've just finished a short story, uh, it's called Humanity, and um, it's basically about the machines that we may become in the future. This poem here is only touches on that. It's called The Last Human Empire. Online to a machine from this province on the periphery, I still use a net to catch outcasts from the storm at the Death Star heart of humanity. I fish these fragile voices for you, ageless child, yet to come, to recollect the time when life was mortal flesh and blood. See these pangs as a bridge from me, child. Take these missives as proof of my credentials to recollect when love was mortal flesh and blood. <laughs> this future night. Have you stood under a street light amid the after midnight silence, pondering the marvelous neon froth from the city? Have you oh, I can't breathe. Have you noticed the street trees lit by artificial light? Their leaves do not brown, fall and die in winter. Plane tree veined in fairy light, oak bathed in halogen lamp, gum silvered by mercury glow in candescent holes in the void. Fountains of illumination wash towers, tickle pink the sky's valley. Moth, bat, gull feast on the wing of delight. To the irrepressible fire come crowds and shiverers. I am an electric man, no wish to return to flame, but having conquered night, shouldn't we spare the light to save the day? Really good stuff and yeah, I like science fiction too.